Welcome to Brothers Down here. In this video, we are going to learn how to read and write to Fabric Warehouse uh, from a Fabric Notebook. Um, then uh, in this video, I'm going to cover two scenarios. Uh, the first scenario is going to talk about how to read a table uh, from Fabric Warehouse uh, and write to the Lake House files. Uh, and second scenario, we'll be reading a file from the Lake House uh, and writing to the table in the warehouse. Uh, so let me show you a little bit uh, where exactly uh we will be doing uh, and uh, here is my warehouse and you can see right there i have uh, this is a tech data warehouse and then i have a schema dbo then tables uh, and in this case uh, i have one table called dbo employees uh, i would like to read this uh, table and uh, then uh, write uh, to the lake house uh, every time i would like to write to the lake house uh, right here uh, in the, under the files uh, i would like to create uh, a uh, file uh, with say in a name employees underscore date time uh, so that's my goal. Let's go ahead and do first cell and then we'll talk about second cell or scenario. Now here I'm importing the date time and also com.microsoft.spark.fabric because I need to use the sign up for SQL connector here. So once I'm done importing these two things, then I'm creating a data frame here and the spark.read sign up SQL connector is used to read the data from the warehouse. And here is the warehouse name and uh, here is the schema name and here is the table name uh, so you will be providing a fully qualified name for your table uh, all the way so three part name and uh, then uh, just uh, display the data frame so we can uh, make sure we have read the records from employee table and uh, into the data frame and the uh, displaying game and uh, after the displaying uh, we are creating uh, this uh, now file name with the timestamp so here is the timestamp variable and then we use the date time dot now that's going to give us the current date time and then we are formatting with the year month day and the hour minute and seconds then we are building a output path in this variable file underscore employees underscore date time dot parquet so i want to create actually parquet file every time i read the, the data from an employee table then I'm writing this uh, data frame to the uh, file. So df.write.mode overwrite and parquet to the output path. Um, that's going to be under the lake house files tab and uh, then employees underscore timestamp. Then uh, finally we are just printing out uh, hey, data written to the uh, this uh, output. So let's execute this now and uh, we are gonna see some records here first uh, once uh, we read into the data frame. So it has read, uh, read the uh, data from the tech uh, data warehouse dot review dot employees table into the data frame and uh, here is the uh, display of uh, that data frame. Uh, so there are two records. Uh, then after that it has written the data to the files and employees uh, and uh, then uh, this is uh, the timestamp added to it and that parquet file. Uh, let's go ahead and verify if the file is written successfully. Now we go to the tech uh, brothers lake house here and uh, then I click on the files. Uh, and uh, I'm going to refresh uh, these uh, files. Uh, once I refresh, uh, I should see uh, the table right uh, sorry, the file right here. Uh, so you can see that employees underscore date and then time. Uh, I can click right here and uh, then it will open this folder and then I can click on the parquet file here and I can uh, view the data. So you can see right there, the data is uh, there available. Uh, that's great. So uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to go another way around where we'll be reading uh, the data from our file orders and then uh, writing to the warehouse. So let me show you the file that's orders file that is sitting in the lake house. So here is my order.csv file and uh, if I will preview this, uh, let me show you the data. Okay, it's not showing me a preview here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open a new notebook here and then uh, I will simply drag that uh, file there. So we can go to the files here and uh, here is a list of the files and here is order.csv. I'm going to drag it here and now I'm going to run this. Um, it will be read the data file data into the data frame and uh, then I'm displaying uh, the data frame. Uh, so this way I will be able to see the entire data in this uh, file. Okay, you can see that uh, it has uh, six records uh, and uh, there are order ID, customer ID, order amount, and order date. Now this file we have read right here in the from the lake house. We would like to read this file and write to the data warehouse. That's our tech data warehouse. Now let me go back to the notebook here and uh, then uh, I explain the code that I have written. So here I'm importing the, the date and uh, then uh, we are also use an import uh, com.microsoft.spark.fabric because I need to use the connector uh, right here. 
So this connector, Synapse SQL connector, I will be using from here. Now once uh, we have that uh, imported, uh, what we will do, we are creating a data frame here and spark.read option, header true, CSV files and order.csv. So that's the path of my CSV file sitting in the lake house. Then I'm displaying uh, the data frame contents uh, and after that uh, what I'm doing is getting uh, the today's date string. Uh, so here is uh, just a variable today's date dot today. So that's going to get me the today's uh, date. Uh, then I'm formatting to year, month and day. I could have done the same thing like timestamp but I don't want to do it. I just want to have just a, a year, month and date. Now here we are building the table name and the table name variable is equal to tech uh, data warehouse dot dbo dot uh, order underscore today. So that's uh, our time, uh, just the sorry date with it, uh, not the time. So now once our table name is ready, we can go ahead and write to our uh, warehouse uh, table. So here I'm using order underscore df uh, then write, uh, that's our data frame that we created above uh, right here and by read the file in this one. Now we are saying write dot mode overwrite and then say synapse SQL. That's a connector we use to write and to write to the table name. And what is the table name? Tech data warehouse dot dbo order underscore today's data. And then we are for just finally printing this message when the data is written. Let's execute that and we'll see if we will be able to create a new table. So here we can see the records and it is a completed successfully. Let's go to the warehouse right now and uh, then uh, we are going to go ahead and refresh uh, our tables here and uh, once uh, we refresh our tables we can see the uh, table created right here order and then we have a date here. I'm going to click right there and say new query and uh, select the top 100 rows and it should have returned us a 6 rows because our order.csv had 6 rows. So you can see that we have order ID or customer ID, order amount and order data. So this is how you will be reading and writing to the warehouse by using the notebook. And I hope you learned something out of it. Thank you very much. And I will put this code in the description so you can use from there. I will see you guys in the next video.